Which ring is better for two minute burst classes like Angelic Buster and Kaiser? That's what I wanted to know. And in this video, I'm going to explore the two rings and which ring I think is better. Now with the current patch, there is a level 160 ring that will be released later on in December. The Guardian Angel Slime Boss drops a level 160 ring, which can be 22 star. And it will be a new bus and slot ring. Unless you are just super whale and have a gloom ring, breath of divinity, ROR4, or something along those lines. But for most conventional players, I would think this is one of the best rings to use. And unfortunately, this ring, unless GMS changes it, but I know in KMS, it is going to be perm untradeable after equip. So it's going to be similar to Sweetwater and just any conventional boss set items. Now this ring will be part of the regular boss set, which includes items such as Chaos Horntail Necklace, the Zacum Condensed Power Crystal, so don't expect to get any set effect from this. I currently have a Weapon Jump ring level 4. I used to have a Solid Golux ring, but I sold that off for I think 20 bell back in the day because I was using a Breath of Divinity, so I had no use for a Solid Golux ring anymore. Since I got rid of the Breath of Divinity ring, I haven't really found a need to make another ring. And I didn't feel compelled to invest the time and money into another ring, such as the Connish Treasure and the Solid Golux ring. Because it was just too much effort for the gains. And the worst thing about it is Connor's treasure is not tradable at all. And it's something that you have to farm yourself. And the Solid Golux ring is just horrendous now because you can't 22 star it. So it's going to be pretty useless by the time this slime ring comes out. For those of you who don't know, the weapon jump ring basically gives you a skill that increases your strength by, or dex, whatever your main stat is, depending on the ring that you got by 400% of your weapon's main attack power. It also has a 180 second, which is three minutes cooldown, which basically means if I use this skill, I'll basically have to wait another three minutes before you can use it. But most of my skills are actually 120 second cooldown. So it's a very weird type of cooldown timer timing. And if I use it, it'll give me a significant boost in my stats from basically 65k to 90k for a short period of time. In this case, 15 seconds duration. A possible option for most classes, or I guess most players, would be just to ring swap every time the burst is finished. But I don't do that. And those of you who try ring swapping will probably know why I don't do that. It's just way too much work and it's just very hard. Because if you're in a boss and for, for Kaisers, we have summons that do damage to the boss. And while those summons are hitting the boss, we cannot swap rings. We also have to dodge the boss's attacks because if we're in an active state, we cannot switch rings either, which is just super stupid. So the only time I actually somewhat ring swap is in dojo, but that's outside of that, it's literally it. It was just not worth the time and effort to try to ring swap. So you may be wondering why I didn't invest in a Solid Golux Ring and Connish Treasure, but I choose to invest in a Guardian Angel Slime Ring. Well, as I mentioned, it is a level 160 ring, so it means that I'll get 1% more per line in potential, and it'll also be able to get more stats and attack per star. Because if you Star Force a level 140 ring versus a level 160 ring, the 22 star stats from each item is going to be very different. So I wanted to find out if it was worth investing in this Guardian Angel Slime Ring. So I asked my friend Kimono Atolts, aka Joseph, who is an angelic buster, to do this testing for me because he had both the rings available to him, a solid Golux ring, a main stat ring, and a weapon jump ring, which is an Oz ring. Because I only have a weapon jump ring, I can't do this test myself, so I asked him to assist me in this testing. And here are the testing scenarios. So in scenario one, we have the solid Golux ring, which is this ring right here. And we plan to just equip this whole ring for the whole four minute duration of the test. 
The reason why we are doing a four minute test as opposed to a two minute or other t time test is four minutes is how long it takes for our full burst to be completely off cooldown. So we're allowed to essentially use our full burst once in both these testing scenarios. In scenario two, we have the weapon jump ring. And again, this is just not swapping and using the weapon jump ring throughout the whole four minutes of the test. Because like I mentioned, swapping might be challenging in some bosses more than others. But yeah, in my scenario, I didn't swap. So we're testing it without any swapping to see what the difference was. So the weapon jump ring gave us 11.5 trail worth of damage compared to the target trail from the solid Galux ring, which means that the weapon jump ring actually did a significant amount worse compared to the solid Galux ring. Now, obviously you saw in the solid Galux ring image that it's really not the best solid Galux ring out there. It's nowhere close to being a exceptional Galux ring. The potential is just mediocre at best and this is not to roast Joe because honestly it's just not a good ring. So based on this testing, classes with 2 minutes burst should invest in the Guardian Angel Slime Ring unless you're just Super Whale and already have a different Gloom Ring, Breath of Divinity and whatever else. But if you're only using a Kanish Treasure, a Solid Golux Ring or even a Meister Ring as your 4th slot ring, I think it is worth the investment to put into this new level 160 ring. The idea here is because this ring is already so quote unquote terrible, if you get a actual level 160 Guardian Angel Slime Ring and actually invest 30% main pot, 8% B pot at least, and 22 start into that, you'll get way more damage boost than if you were to just use only an Oz ring as a 2 minute burst class for the whole duration of a boss fight. Now this is me entering all of the stats that I will gain and lose when I equip the new ring on. So the current ring that I have, which is an Oz ring, has 4 strength and 4 attack and nothing else. Next for the Guardian Angel Slime Ring, we're gonna assume 30% main pots plus just one line of B pot for now. And we get 38% strength. And for the strength department, we have 136 strength plus the 110 attack. And the 110 attack is from the scrolling as well as the clean stats as well as the star force amount. And for the strength, it is again clean stats plus the store force and bounce as well as scrolling but scrolling i plan to use premium accessory scrolls so it'll just be four time four slots times four attack each and it'll add up to around 110 attack approximately so we'll get a 8.02 percent increase in found damage now keep in mind this only accounts for the clean ring stat difference and then obviously it doesn't account for the odd ring skill that we use once every three minutes for our burst which is why we did the test to make sure that the new ring is actually going to be better than using an Oz ring for the whole boss fight so that's it for this video guys hope you guys found it helpful if you did be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more future content as always i'll see you guys in the next video